Good evening, my social teachers, my fellow MS PSLE Prize awardees, and all parents. I am Lucas Chua, and I have completed my PSLE in the year 2021. I am currently enrolled in Catholic High School and graduated from Nantel Primary School in the class of 2021. I am more than happy to be allowed as valedictorian and to share with you my amazing and educational journey in my preparation for the PSLE. I scored 9 points in the PSLE, which I feel is not too impressive, but I personally think that the learning journey behind it is far richer. It all started in the primary 6 first term examinations. I had done decently well and of course, I got complacent. Every day, I would come home and leave homework for the night and focus on gaming since I always thought that I could still maintain the standard regardless of my actions. That was when it all went downhill. In the mid-year examinations, my results had plummeted. I had scored 17 points in the examination and was devastated. However, upon remembering that my teacher had given out supplementary revisions to everyone, I knew it was good practice. For seven years now, I have been with my teacher. I took to studying countless nights, grueling hours, and back-breaking revision. But at least, it will all be worth it. In the prelims, I secured seven points in total, and this got me motivated. Motivated to do better to make my parents, my sister, and all my friends proud. At last, it wasn't meant to be, and I scored nine points in the PSLE. However, the rich learning journey behind all of this was far more precious than my marks. After the mid-year examinations, I knew I had to pick myself up again. I put in twice the effort in paying attention in both school lessons and tuition classes. I heeded the countless pieces of advice my teachers gave my class. I still remember this one phrase that my school teacher had said to us. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. This allowed me to reflect on my past actions of studying half-heartedly and the consequences. I have failed to plan my time wisely for my examinations. Thus, I have faltered in my mid-year examinations. Thankfully, I was not at a total loss. Picking myself up, I reflected and strove to be the best I could ever be. Of course, no man is an island. I couldn't have done it without my loving parents, my dear sister, and all my teachers in school and at my stretcher. Firstly, I would like to thank my parents for the effort they put in to ensure I could thrive in taking a PSLE. In fact, I would say they had put in almost twice the effort that I did. They helped me by signing me up for the various My Stretcher webinars and tuition classes, all to ensure I could do the best they expected. My parents were the ones who were constantly on my back, drilling me to do my best. I owe more than I can write down to their constant efforts in guiding me through this journey. My sister is another I would like to thank. Even though we study separately, she would check up on my well-being from time to time. She was the one who motivated me the most and the one who supported me the most. When I seemed down and stressed, she and my parents would comfort me by saying it will all be over soon and that when the PSLE is over, I could finally be free of assessment books. I really cannot thank my sister enough for taking the time to ensure my well-being and mental health. To this day, Memories of my PSI preparation are still and forever will be engraved in my memory bank. I stand here before you to say this. Having the ability to be smart can be something you are born with. But it is whether your attitude is right and if you are determined to make use of that prodigy to achieve greater heights. Fellow awardees, I know my experience and yours can be as different as day and night. And I accept that but I'm very sure we all have one thing in common, and that is perseverance. I applaud you for your distinctions achieved over the past year. Thank you for having me here, and I hope to see you in the future. All the best!